What is up everyone? My name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and welcome to this video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the SCP service not installing on SCP DS3 by using a method I like to call the zipping method. So in my previous tutorial regarding this issue, I showed you guys how to unblock the files one by one in the SCP server file folder. Now, for whatever reason, people have been commenting that they don't have the unblock button, or if they hit the unblock button, it's still blocked. Now, I've discovered a different unblocking method, and again, I like to call it the zipping method because it involves using a zip folder. Now I'm going to show I'm going to show you guys that method. I'm going to walk you guys through it. So I've already downloaded the driver package from my video's description, my how to easily connect your PS3 controller to your PC. And I've already extracted that zip folder and I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now, these are all the files that you'll find in the zip folder except for the SCP server will be a zip folder, so you will have to unzip that. But I've unzipped it just for time's sake. So I'm going to open up this server file folder and then I'm going to open up the bin folder once again. I'm going to right click on the SCP driver and go to properties. Now, as you can see, it still says this file is blocked because I haven't unblocked it myself manually. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the SCP server file folder. I'm going to right click on that file folder and I'm going to go to send to and compress that folder into a zip folder. Now, we can drag our zip folder that we just created out onto our desktop and we can delete the other two file folders that we used before. Now, you may think this is quite tedious. Why are we zipping the files again when I've already done it for you guys? Well, by zipping this folder, Windows thinks that you actually have created the files because you made that zip folder. So when we extract this zip folder, all the files should be unblocked for you guys. And I found that this method has worked so much better for more people than the manually unblocking has. So again, I'm gonna right click on the SCP driver. I'm gonna go to properties and look, there is no security warning there. So you should have a smooth installation when you use the zipping method. I hope this method helps you guys. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them for you guys. As always, I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this on my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.